Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can make a beautiful 3D flower vase in SketchUp. So we'll start. Uh, what I have done in this video is uh, basically first of all I have drawn the elevation of the vase in AutoCAD and then I'll import the AutoCAD file in SketchUp. So uh, I'll show you, I'll open this AutoCAD file. I've already drawn the uh, elevation of the vase as you can see here with all the measurements and the details. Uh, you can simply draw it in AutoCAD, it is very easy and you can save it anywhere on your desktop and then I'll open this SketchUp file and in this I'll go to file and then import and then I'll just select the uh, file from the location, the AutoCAD file and I'll click on open and just uh, have to just click on close and you can see that the file has been imported on SketchUp. So since it is not on the right axis, I'll first move it to the origin and then I'll also rotate it uh, so that it can be perpendicular. So I'll select it and I'll click on this rotate and then I'll rotate it along the red axis. So I'll just rotate it. You can see that at the bottom here you can see the angle you have to rotate it at 90 degree. So uh, just you can simply rotate it. It is very easy to do. And then, and then I'll move this to the origin again. So I'll just select this completely and then I'll click on move and then I'll shift it to the origin. Now you can see that uh, it is ready to go and what next I have to do is I'll create a surface. So for that I'll draw a line and you can see this white colored surface has been created uh, on in, in this. So uh, now what I have to do is to do the follow me. So you can see from tools here it is the follow me command but for that first of all I have to draw a circular path along which I want it to be followed. So I'll draw this circle on the blue axis uh, till here and now what I have to do is I have to select this white surface and then I have to just follow me on the uh, circular path. So I'll show you by doing it. You can see I'll just select the surface and then I'm rotating it along the red line which uh, of the path which it shows and then I'll just click on it and it may take a few seconds uh, to uh, to to get completed so you just have to show the patience of uh, two seconds like and now you can see that uh, the vase has been made and it is very simple you just have to use the follow me command and you can draw this beautiful vase in just uh, a few minutes even seconds and now you can see that uh, so many lines are visible here it's not a completely smooth surface so for that i'll select this and then I'll go to uh, window and from there I'll go on soft and edges and you can move this uh, bar uh, till wherever you want it to be softened. So I'll just keep it this way and you can see that uh, it's uh, beautiful, it's without any lines. This vase is completed and now I'll just try to apply some material on it. Uh, I'm just trying it, uh, the sketchy material that is sketchy shingles rustic. I'm just trying it on this vase and uh, and then I'll, because it doesn't show up, uh, I'll just uh, change uh, the scale after it. Uh, so that uh, it is visible. So I'll go on edit and uh, then from here uh, I'm just changing the scale of it to maybe say 300 or something but uh, it doesn't look nice so I'll just experiment uh, with the scale. I'll try 150 uh, but still the, uh, the texture is not that good. Oh, I'm changing the colors but it doesn't look good so I'm just changing the, uh, uh, the material again and um, then I'll just uh, again apply it on the surface. You can just uh, click on any material and you can try any material of your choice that looks good on the vase. So I'm just trying this material and um, yeah, it's cool, it uh, looks good. So I'll just stick to this material, this texture and then I'll change the color of it. And uh, since I'm convinced with this, so let it be. And now you can see that this is uh, this is the vase which uh, I just uh, I just have shown you how you can make it in a very few steps, which is very easy. You just have to uh, make the elevation on AutoCAD, and then you have to just import it 
on SketchUp and uh, now you guys out there you can do it yourself and try different objects with different type of elevations you just have to draw it on AutoCAD which is very easy so friends if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and for more videos you can comment or in the comment section any video that you want me to make so please do it thank you